Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So we got the big news this week that Seth Rollins will be on the cover of WWE 2K18, and the game comes out October 17th. Also, we learned if you get the Deluxe or the Collector's Edition, you actually get the game four days early. We do actually have some more news on the game that is pretty interesting, including superstars being added and a new game mode. So first off, WWE is adding back GM mode, but they may be calling it the brand split. From what I'm hearing, you pick a general manager to represent yourself. There's 16 different people you can choose from, like Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, Shane McMahon, and so forth. And then you draft your own show, and you see if your show can be better than the other show, whether you take Raw or you take SmackDown. Also, I am hearing that there's a very good chance that both the Hardy Boys and James Ellsworth will be in this game. As far as James Ellsworth goes, makes sense. Now the Hardys, I'm not sure if they're going to be in the actual launch version of the game or if they're going to be like Gallows and Anderson and be added later in DLC. Because if you think about it, when Gallows and Anderson came in right after WrestleMania, it was too late to get them in the normal version of the game. So with the Hardys coming in right after WrestleMania, it does lead me to believe that they're going to put them in some sort of DLC but it's the Hardys. It could be a good way to promote the actual release of the game, so put them in the regular game. Also, I can confirm that WWE United Kingdom Champion Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate have done face scans for the game and could be added as well, but again, it's unknown if they're going to be in the launch version of the game or if they're going to be in DLC. I think they would fit in good with DLC as far as the Future Stars pack. And as far as 205 Live goes, I'm hearing that most of that roster has been scanned for the game. Some, like the guys that we see more often, will be actually in the launch version of the game. And then some will be held off for future DLC. As far as DLC goes, I'm hearing that there will be at least five, possibly more, DLC packs. And you can get it all with a season pass. If the season pass is the same price as it was last year, it'll be $29.99. GameStop does have the regular version of the game listed at $59.99. The Deluxe Edition is listed at $89.99. The game will not be coming out on last-gen consoles, PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, only on Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Eventually, it'll come out on PC, and I am hearing, I can't confirm this yet, but the game is slated to possibly come out also on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're going to get the Season Pass in the standard version of the game only, why not go with the Deluxe? The Deluxe is the same price as getting the Standard and the Season Pass, plus I'm hearing there may be a little additional bonus content with the Deluxe Edition. So it's the same price and you get more. And as far as the Collector's Edition, the only difference between that and the Deluxe is you will get some sort of physical collectible that you can't get anywhere else. A price point has not been put out for that yet, but if we do find anything out, we'll let you know on that. But that is all we know so far for WWE 2K18. Are you excited for this GM mode? Again, it may not be called GM mode. It may be called the brand split. And are you excited for Ellsworth, the Hardys, Bait, Dunn, and the Cruiserweights to be in this game? Let me know your thoughts on WWE 2K18 in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and subscribe here on YouTube.